Hello and welcome back and it's the next part in our NAS Buyer's Guide and today I want to talk about Buffalo. Now Buffalo NAS is one of those NAS brands that's always had um, a place in my heart. It's one of those NAS brands that for some reason has never launched bigger than it should have been. It's got all of the advantages of all the other brands it's got a little bit from all of them, and then somehow, despite this, it still hasn't cracked that top three tiers in the way that it should. It's lived on the third place a number of times, but it's uh, the fact that it's made to a much more enterprise level standard has always been something that home users have been slightly kind of mm, not sure about. Because when it comes down to it, if you are looking for solid, robust, reliable, well-supported brands in your NAS device, there is no better than Buffalo. There are so many things that only Buffalo give you and things that I'm surprised the likes of Synology and QNAP didn't look at and go, oh, I'm having that. Such as the fact that their entire chassis are almost all completely metal in design. Now again, I know what you're thinking straight away, oof, sounds noisy. They're really not. You've got a front mounted LCD display that gives you much more information and control than that of the QNAP ones. Also, the trays themselves are individually locked with a front mounted ventilated panel that actually has a little filter built into it. On top of that, the chassis itself, almost all of their Terra Station series and their new Windows Server series that we'll talk about later on, all arrive with 10GBE on board. And 10GBE as standard, even though the price of these two, four and eight bay devices are the same as QNAP and Synology, is quite frankly impressive as hell. And all of this arriving with an Intel based CPU inside as well, not, you know, selling themselves with a number of ARM chips and sticking with Atoms and some of the other newer generation of Intel chips. Now, the chassis itself, once you look at the back of a number of these, they've got those cooling fans, they've got the USB port, they've got multiple LAN ports on the rear, and of course, 10 GBE. But the devices also arrive, some of them, with more. Some of them arrive with HDMI ports on the rear, and some of them arrive with the ability to um, install PCIe cards for more ports. I'm looking more towards the rack mount devices for that. Now, also another feature that no other NAS brand seems to provide, shockingly, is the fact that they have hardware RAID on a number of their models. There's one on the screen there, there's a six bay unit that has a RAID card pre-installed. And what that means is RAID builds, RAID rebuilds, and general RAID maintenance is over 30% higher than that of traditional RAID on chip devices. That is a That means the handling of the RAID and the handling of the redundant protection of your data is moved off of the CPU and handled by that RAID card, something the other NAS brands don't give you, and something that will definitely mean your read and write speeds are maintained high, and if you're using 10 GBE or 10 gigabit ethernet, that means that's gonna be great for those fast acting file transfers. Now, the Terra Station from, um, from Buffalo has its own user interface, which I will say is the first thing that may let you down about the device. It is not easy on the eye. It looks nice enough and everything you need is there. But anyone that's ever logged into like a Netgear switch or a Netgear router will know that it's not quite as desirable and pop in the eye and it's not designed to be as pretty as that of QNAP or Synology. This is an industrial NAS and a NAS that's meant for business and it means business. But the issue is if you're a home user, that may not appeal to you. Now, nevertheless, it's still one of the most cost-effective 10 GBE NASes out there, which leads me into the other portion of things, Windows Storage Server. For those of you that do run Windows managed businesses and are very au okay fait and you have IT guys that are very well versed in the Windows 8 and 10 platform, then you'll be pleased to hear the Windows Storage Server arrives on a number of these devices included in the price. So you get unlimited licenses with this device. So you can get WSS 2016 and 2012 uh, related Buffalo NASes. And what these do is let you have a Windows Server living on the Buffalo hardware architecture. On top of that, loads of um, Buffalo apps included as well within that software that they've included inside. Now, right now, they, are, they seem to be the only NAS brand that you can buy a Windows Storage Server 2016 licensed um, NAS with. 
Everyone else says that they support it, but you don't get the license included. Whereas the Buffalo one, I think there's a portion of flash or SSD memory that has the license and the installation all built in for you. Now, it isn't all about hardware and integrated software. What you also get with Buffalo is three years warranty, pretty much blanket across their entire range with five years appearing in some units too. On top of that, they have next advanced replacement, a 24 hour, they'll send it to you. And on top of that, they've got guaranteed uh, data destruction as well in two forms. One, if you buy a pre-populated Buffalo NAS and you don't want to send the drives back with the unit in the event of a problem because you've got sensitive data, you can just send them the back plane of the top of the drive and then destroy the drive yourself. Alternatively, if you go into the software and user interface in the settings, they're the only NAS brand I know that have a three error self-destruct mode, which again, I know sounds a bit James Bond, but hold on. What it means is, is if you go into the settings, you can set it up that if there is an incorrect login three times and it's disabled by default in case of error, but if you enable this option, on the third error, the device will lock itself up and encrypt all the data where it can never be accessed. If someone steals your device and tries to break into it or someone's trying to break into your device unnecessarily and you've got a closed system so it has to be sold internally and you obviously synchronize your data so it's not completely lost. Um, you can make sure that in the event of, you know, beyond control theft, your data is completely irretrievable and that data rather than you try to retrieve it, it's just destroyed so no one can get it. And that's something no other NAS brand gives you. Um, now, it's not all good, as again, just like any other NAS brand, there are failings. Uh, one of the way, ways in which I think Buffalo could really step up their game is their support of third-party applications. Although they arrive with lots of enterprise first-party apps and features within their user interface, their support of things like Plex Media Server and general applications that are out there are pretty poor and if unless it's some of these high-end Microsoft tools the NAS will work just as a um, basic network drive and their support of a number of the more shall we say attractive feature apps that are out there in network attached storage it's a little disappointing it's something I would like to have hoped Buffalo would remedy later in this year maybe they will next year who knows they do have a range of home devices in their link station series there should be one on the furthest side of the screen and they've got lots of media multimedia applications there for file distribution, watching your media, and distributing files over the network and the internet in a far more user-friendly, cheerful fashion with a nice user interface. But it still doesn't really support Plex, and unless you use something like a Raspberry Pi connected, you're not gonna be able to use things like Kodi or Plex on one of these NAS devices. Also, Buffalo is a big unit, and given that a lot of them, the Terra Station units are metal in design, Although they're not crazy noisy, they definitely produce a little bit more hum than other NAS brands out there. So if you're very sensitive to noise, Buffalo may not be the device for you. But apart from that, to me, they've still got a great place in my heart as a brand that knows what it's doing and gives you a lot for your money. And I'm talking 10 GB, I'm talking robust storage and that support and warranty from the brand itself. But otherwise, that is Buffalo NAS. Do check out the link in the description to learn more and click like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to learn more about other NAS brands and more about the new releases in network attached storage this year. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.